Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a Windows 7 theme transformation video on a theme called Airlock. Here's a picture uh, picture of Airlock. Um, it's a darker red and black theme. We have our custom icons, Explorer, Dock, everything. It's a pretty cool theme. Uh, I suggest trying it out if you have a Windows 7 machine. Now, to go ahead and actually try this out, you're going to have to go below and download the file. Now there's two different links below, both of them for Windows 7, but they're different architectures. Now to find the one to, for your computer, go to the Start Arb, right click on Computer, and go to Properties. And right next to System Type, it will say 64-bit Operating System or 32-bit Operating System. Whatever yours says, go below and download the file that is next to your number, and then you can continue on. So if, I've already downloaded it. Mine is 64, and you can see mine says x64. If yours says 32-bit, you will download a file, and it's going to say x86. Let's go ahead and open it up. You might get this uh, user account control because it's not have a known publisher. Just click yes, though. It yeah, will go ahead and, and start the installation. Just click next. Click I accept. This right here is this the agreement and any people that contributed to the installation um, has credits there. So what I slash doing is going to the advanced option here and unchecking all these. Uh, if you do the quick installation, it's going to install this Delta toolbar. If you're okay with that, go with the quick one. Otherwise, I go advanced and uncheck everything. That way, it's just not there. Click the next button. We'll leave these checked. Click install. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and patch any files that need to be patched and then it will go ahead and install the custom icons, wallpapers, themes, everything. So right now it's going to go ahead and install the icons. You can tell by the file that it's patching, it does tell you which one is patching. So now it's installing cursors, visual style, wallpaper, and font. Rocket Doc is our, our doc application. Now it's done, you click next button and click reboot now. Because I am showing this video on a virtual machine, I can show you guys the whole boot up process so you can see what happens right from the start to end. I, I didn't do anything else in between. So we'll just wait for this to uh, reboot and back onto our desktop. We should see immediate changes uh, right away. First coming with the start menu or start screen. And here we go, you guys can see we have a custom um, circle and a background custom circle. You shouldn't get this, this is just a, yeah. Alright, so now we're uh, at our home screen. So this will come up, you can go ahead for the first time and just click this close button. And there we go. So now you should come with some wallpapers. Mine didn't activate. There we go. Alright, so you get the same one, I believe, twice, just different aspect ratios. But anyway, so that's the wallpaper we get. It's called Airlock. Obviously, you can go ahead and find your own red and black one on the internet, or if you have your own, you can go ahead and easily change the background so that it suits to your system better. At the top here, we have a custom dock. So you have recycle bin, pictures, vi uh, notepad, everything. So you can. Now, if you go ahead and let's say you want to pin a file to the Mac doc, just drag a file and pull it up there and want the files to separate. As soon as they separate, let go, and it goes there. So you can see, and to remove a file from the launcher, just pull it off and let go, and it goes puff, and it goes away. The start menu is very cool. If you look at it, it's actually blank. When you go over it, it lights up as if it's like a control center or something like that. Click on it. It will actually go in. You can see the little button there. It flies in and back. Cool, huh? Anyway, so that comes up, and then you have our dock and our, our thing. And you guys can see this also slides back and forth. So it's some pretty cool, uh, you know, buttons. So that's where our power off button right there is. Okay. And if we go to our Explorer, I don't have many files on this test machine, but if I was to go here. Okay, so you can see we have the custom icons everywhere. Back and forward buttons also have been changed along with the back, forward, and minimize buttons. 
and that's about it for this theme. Um, a custom font also is installed, which you can see over in the clock area over here. So that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Now, if you're interested in knowing how to uninstall this skin, I would keep watching. So now I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall it. It's a pretty simple process. It's, all, it's just like uninstalling a program. Go to your computer and go to uninstall. And from here, you can just all you gotta do is find error lock, click a couple times, guess, check these off, click uninstall. It will restore everything back, the whole look back to what it was before. When this comes up, click yes, next, and reboot. After you reboot, the changes will be back to normal again. Anyways, guys, that's what for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to uh, like the video. Down links are below. And I'd like to say right now, um, you can go ahead and look at my Facebook page. I do post pictures of like desktop backgrounds and uh, any dual monitor setups that I see or whatever. I do post them on my Facebook page. And they are pretty cool. So I would suggest liking my Facebook page so you can see exactly all that awesome stuff. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Check me out on Twitter and Facebook, and I'll see you in my next video. This is Africa 7 and I'm signing off.